Hola. <laughs> so, uh, Andrew, first, I would like to have like a small introduction of yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you can tell us about yourself a little bit. Yeah. Um, my name is Andrew Weiler. I'm from the U U.S. originally, from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, I've been living in Ethiopia for the five years before this, but just moved to Colombia for a new job in, in Bogota. And yeah, I've been here at, at uh, Nueva Lengua practicing my Spanish. Okay, great. And um, for how long have you been studying Spanish and why did you decide to continue learning it in Bogota? Yeah, I, I started learning Spanish in, in like primary school when I was very young in, in the U.S. Um, but like many uh, classes in Spanish, especially I think Spanish classes in the U.S., it's mostly like grammar and you never have to speak. And so uh, it was really in the university when I did a semester in Chile, in Santiago de Chile, that I like had to be immersed and really had to speak the language and, and understand it better. Um, and so, yeah, that was that was 10 years ago, though. Um, and in those 10 years since I was in Chile, I hadn't spoken Spanish until hardly, now hardly at all yeah muy poco uh, <laughs> and so when i yeah when i got this job in colombia i knew that i needed to i needed to practice brush up uh, on my spanish and so yeah that was that's kind of the motivation to come to to nueva lengua all right and how has it been the experience of learning spanish in bogota as part of a cultural and linguistic immersion and would you recommend that I, I definitely recommend coming to Bogota to learn Spanish. I think um, for me, it's it's an amazing city, like big, tons of things to do. I feel like I, I've been here almost three weeks now, or no, almost four weeks now, and I feel like I've only barely scratched the surface of all the museums, all the uh, sights to see, all the mountains to climb, so to speak. Um, and so I think there's tons to do. I also think like. Uh, as far as a place to learn Spanish, it's pretty easy to immerse yourself. It's not like, uh, I don't know, it's not like everybody's running around speaking English. You can, you're, you're expected to speak Spanish. Um, and I think the accent is relatively neutral, or at least coming from learning in Chile where the accent is crazy here, <laughs> it's, it's easier to understand. Um, and also people are very friendly and happy to speak Spanish with you, even if uh, you might not be perfect. Okay, great. And uh, what are the most interesting things that you've learned during your time here in Bogota? Yeah, so I think uh, for me it's it's been great to to learn both like well in school like the about the language and like I've I've learned a lot of things that I never covered in previous Spanish classes that help me understand like. Uh, if I'm trying to read the newspaper here or trying to read a book in Spanish, it's like, ah, things start to click of why they're written as such or why someone's saying such and such to me. Um, and I think, like, for me, I, I find, like, culture, history, that sort of thing fascinating. And so I've, I've learned uh, a bit so far and hopefully I will learn a lot more about, like, Colombian history and culture as well. Okay, good. And finally, why would you recommend learning Spanish in Bogota? To prefer for a job, uh, especially from your like personal experience, mm -hmm. taking the business lessons, and why here in Nueva Lengua? Nice. I, I think um, as far as why to learn, why learning Spanish in um, in Bogota makes sense for a job. I, I guess I suppose both because of what I mentioned about like having a fairly neutral accent, like it's it's not terribly hard to understand people, which uh, yeah. Uh, is encouraging when you understand what people are saying. Um, also, I think just as a like a big and pretty important city in terms of business in all of Latin America, I think it, it makes a lot of sense for that reason as well. Um, and then I think why specifically Nueva Lengua, um, I think the, the classes here for business have been very helpful in preparing me for my job and sort of like, um, especially in giving me certain context that people would probably expect that a, you know, a Colombian or the usual, like, person working in their office here would just understand. So, like, uh, things about, like, the basic structure of the government here, or, like, you know, the typical, like, educational pathway, so to speak, that most people take before their jobs. Um, like, those sorts of things that I 
being a foreigner just wouldn't know. Um, we've covered that, and then we've of course covered things that are more like uh, subtle, like norms about how to write an email and be polite over email, um, how to give a presentation in Spanish, um, those sorts of things that I think are, are super helpful, along with actually also just talking a bit about the like Colombian economy and how it functions and what are the big important sectors, that sort of thing. So yeah, I've, I've learned a lot. I, I feel much better prepared for my job um, because of these classes. Okay, thank you very much.